Well hello there, my name is Marcus Butler and today I'm going to be talking about types of people you get in public bathrooms or toilets. Number one, pretty self-explanatory, the person who doesn't wash their hands. What is wrong with you? When I see someone has gone into the toilet, probably rubbed their hands all around their genital area, and maybe even their bum crack, and then they've just left that cubicle or the urinal and haven't washed their hands, and they put their slimy, probably very covered in bacterial shit hand on the door, open it, and then just walk like, yeah, 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 just leaving the toilet. No, that is absolutely disgusting. There's two types of people in this world, people who wash their hands and fucking animals. Number two, the person I'm going to be calling the silent shitter. I don't know if this is a thing that females experience, but in a male toilet, say you go into the toilet and someone's in a cubicle, you can see someone's there and you happen to go into the cubicle next to them. Everything all of a sudden goes very, very silent and it's this very eerie kind of feeling in the toilet. You sit down and you're kind of like, And then as soon as you hear that hand dryer go, <sighs> Number three is person on their phone. Now, I experienced this literally a couple of weeks ago. I stepped three feet into the toilet and there was a guy standing at the urinal, genuinely, dick in one hand, having a piss, standing there on his phone, just scrolling through, just on his phone. You just focus on your willy weeing and then, do your social stuff after me. Number four, the awkward urinal starer slash talker. As someone who struggles with stage fright themselves, when you're in that situation, when you're at a urinal, like going to a urinal is kind of a big deal like in itself, that freaks you out. It puts you into uncomfortable mode and you don't really know what to do. God forbid if they say a word, I've had it before when someone actually tries to start a conversation with you. All right. Girls, you've got it easy. You guys go off to the toilet together in your little groups, have a little chat, a little makeup session, your own little private cubicles. Guys, we don't get any of that. Maybe a private cubicle, but it's probably gonna stink. Which moves me on to number five, the very awkward I've not done it moment. This is when you go into a cubicle and as soon as you've stepped foot in that door, you, you want to pass out with how bad it smells. And then you leave the cubicle, but someone's waiting for that cubicle. And it's the awkward, you've left this absolutely stinking cubicle and there's a person waiting to go into that one. They're obviously gonna think that it's you that has left that horrible smell, but it's not you, so there's the kind of awkward. Number six, the splashback guy. For a guy, this is quite an embarrassing situation. You have either pissed on your leg and left a Stain mark. Oh, for God's sake, I'll probably piss myself again. Ugh. Or the tap has sprayed you, which is usually the more regular one. Oh my God. You then kind of walk back to your friends and no matter whether you piss on yourself or not, you always go, oh, really bad tap. Just didn't know where the water went. But sometimes you have actually pissed on yourself, but you're always gonna go with that option. No one wants to be the splashback guy or girl. Do girls even get a splashback? No. And number seven, the accidental pervert. I feel like we've all been there in some shape or form. I'm t wait, I haven't even told you what I'm talking about here. This is where you are just lost, confused, you're not really paying full attention, and you end up in the wrong gender's bathroom. I had this recently where I walked into the female bathroom, there was no women around, and I was standing waiting for a cubicle. So I was in there for about a minute, and it was only when a lady walked out that she gave me this really, really dodgy look and I was like, I'm terribly sorry, I'm not a pervert. I, I don't mean to be in here right now. I will go, goodbye. <coughs> Those are the types of people in public bathrooms I've experienced. Have you experienced any of the ones I have? If not, share some new ones below. If you're new around here, I post videos every Friday. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking right here. I'll leave a little thing up there. Whilst I do that, um, I love your sexy face. I will see you next Friday. That's about it. All right, bye.